everyone hope everyone is doing fine today here is Abdul and today we have a short unboxing video it's a continuation on the watchmakers tools unboxing this week I got a couple of stuff that I um, just opened they came in, in in this kind of envelope so I didn't know that uh, a watch was inside for instance this watch came it's a Provita watch and uh, it came with a really cheap uh, leather strap so i bought this strap with it but it looked a bit weird so i thought okay i'll buy another strap with it so i bought this black shark leather strap i think it will match it quite well um as you can see gold here so this this one i will change this one is 16 millimeter strap. I got it because I know there are some watches that I uh, get that are 16. So I just got this to directly put it. So I got also this uh, spring bars, of different sizes. And let's see. So this one as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got this one just to. When you open a case, you blow out the air inside. So let me come back here so I have a better view. So this is a pressing machine. As you can see, it has here to hold the movement and here to like a presser, as you can see. Good here the head and then you press it so you close the case the case of a watch um i didn't invest that much in these ones because uh yeah pressing machine it's not that much uh to to uh it's not uh something that will scratch the case or something like this like a bergion uh, screwdriver which i got and I'm still waiting for it let's see what is in this one should have got my knife with me oh oops i think i got something out here as well now it's empty let's see what we have oh what are these oh these are the cases nice so these are all the cases uh that i got these are nos new old stock cases that's great and uh the perfect thing is the uh, vintage cases will match the vintage movements that I have. So that's the good news. Now I just have to wait for the uh, tools. So I'm able to put everything together. Let's see again, some cases here, here. And yeah, the guy did uh, wrap them quite okay. Would have expected a bit more. But yeah. I think that's. Uh, oh. I think maybe that's this one. No. Oh, here. Yeah. I think like this. As you can see, the cases, they look quite cool. Maybe I'll insert a shot of them, collective shot afterwards. So the last but not least. So let's see. Ah, these are these, uh, how do you call them, magnifying glasses. Um, I thought uh, they would be also of use when I'm putting the stuff together. Ah, even with uh, the... Yes. I always recycle, so all these bags, all these packages, I'll be using for other packages. Because uh, I do buy and sell uh, a lot of watches. So I usually reuse the packaging, or at least... We use the plastic wrapping and all the stuff that you can reuse. 
and the other stuff uh, in Germany we do recycle a lot so it's end up uh, in the recycling bin so here is the glasses and here you can see that it's bigger that's quite good so I'll put this here and close it and then we'll zoom in on these cases maybe i'll get the watches next to them so you can uh, see them both next to each other so as you can see these are the movements that i was uh, talking about and uh, let's just take one that looks like it's might be suitable and uh, try maybe to see if it goes in the case i think that's uh... so as you can see maybe a case like this one it's actually might work maybe a smaller one this might be a better idea right something like this oh sorry or even we could put one of the quartz one or one of the that's also mechanical like this inside one of these for instance these plastic ones um Ah, here's the crown stem. Oh, I have to remove the crown. So, that's why I have to wait for all the uh, tools that I have. Because if I remove the crown without the tools, um, that will be, won't be nice. The vintage ones are easier because you can see the crown will just slot right in. Maybe I'll try it out with one of these. Yeah, they look all in good shape. They have all the tickets, so they're all new. And the good thing is I have also like really small ones like this one. So I can put like the really small movements like, for instance, with this laco, goes right in. Or even something like this, a little bit bespoke. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, um, ah, by the way, I forgot I'm wearing this uh, Fortis. So um, thanks uh, to everyone who recommended uh, tools or websites like Renee. Thank you for your comments. You're always inform informative comments, and for all the people for their uh, yeah encouraging comments like uh, Bruce, Max, uh, the Samir. There is uh, Pino. Uh, a lot of people that. Um, watch my videos and uh, really encourage me to do more so thank you so much for that so if you uh, are not subscribed yet please do subscribe and also leave a like if you like this kind of content uh, next week i'll be uh, hopefully um, yeah unboxing more watch tools i will be also making my uh, state of the watch collection I wanted to wait, I usually do it in November, I wanted to wait maybe to middle of November because I'm thinking about buying a new watch uh, to celebrate my PhD, so that's why I am still waiting, or at least uh, trying to, to wait until the last second so I uh, know if I'm buying something new or not. Um, so, anyways, hope this uh, was enjoyable for you. And I uh, hope uh, to see you in the next one. Have a great one. Bye.